When I was a kid, the TV was black and white. Okay. It's probably is yours as well. So that's yeah. that's how far. Nah, but you that's were how in far Finland, far, though. Yeah, but that's how far we're coming from. Yeah, when we, we had color TV though. The yeah. technology nowadays, I have the iPhones and iPads. Did they even have TV in Finland back then? Yeah, with two channels. Okay, nice. I remember when the Walkman first came out. The cassette yeah, one was huge. Sony Walkman, man. Yeah. yeah, you needed yeah. a backpack to carry a Walkman. Yeah. Damn near. Yeah. I remember those, yeah. man. I had the big old Sony thing with the strap, and I was carrying it thinking I'm yeah, here. I'm here. Well, kids, kids, they know a lot more these days because the information's right at their hands. These are these are two Boy Scouts. They've got to get their last merit badge so they can become Eagle Scout. And so because of Breast Cancer Awareness Month, these two young geniuses come up with the idea that they're making a campaign to help women identify breast cancer in their breasts. Yeah. They can call us and we'll go to their house anytime. Well, so how's your program going to work? I mean, no. where do you plan to do these exams? Oh, uh, well, I think we're probably going to do them in my basement. Well... I mean, they're they're two Boy Scouts that are gonna help. Uh, they're doing their they're doing their community service. I but think it's a great project. It sounds like the host of the show was not expecting it to be like this, huh? or does she even notice? You you think she's thinking these horny little mothers? <laughs> they may be so. Man. Is that what she thinks? That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, you know. She she doesn't seem to. Be she seems kind of oblivious. <laughs> And so, so it's, it's finished. finished. Well, now I've been told that the key to a good self-breast examination is making them a regular part of your normal routine, right? And that, that sounds like a plan. Yeah, yeah, regularly. Yeah. That way you get to know your breasts and, and can recognize any changes. Now, I like to do mine when I'm in the shower. Yeah, okay. okay. But I understand yeah. you can also lie in the bed. <laughs> you heard uh, that? Yeah, uh, yeah, okay. definitely. Uh -huh. I am kind of worried about my oh, own technique, man. though. Can you show us how to do a good breast exam? Okay, enough of that. Is We're going to give Colin Farrell a call and see how he's doing. <phone rings> Colin Farrell, of course, a uh, famous movie actor. Uh, hello? Hey, is this Colin Farrell? Who? Colin Farrell, this is Mad Dog and Dave show in Copenhagen, Denmark. Who? Co Mad Dog and Dave, uh, it's a radio program in uh, in Copenhagen. All right, yeah. Yeah, so how you doing today, Colin? Uh, a bit tired. Okay, so what you been up to? I know, uh, I know. There's come uh, Tigerland has just come out on DVD, and what? Uh, and Minority Report has also been entered into the. Uh, uh, the Motion Pictures Hall of Fame, and I just I figured we should give you a call and say congratulations. Um, thanks very much. Very good. Well, so what are you up to? Uh, what are you up to today? You say you're a little tired. What have you been doing? Uh, I was out last night a bit late now. With okay. Jared? Well, I wasn't drinking. You With Jared? No, well, I don't drink anymore. Okay, Sammy. He's Sammy Soul. He's our music producer here, and he's he's at, uh, he's wondering if you've talked to Jared lately. Jared Leto, of course. Uh, no, we're having a bit of a break. Okay. Uh, something, uh, you guys upset with each other or something? No, we just thought we should see other people. Okay, all right. So I didn't, <laughs> I didn't even realize it was serious like that. Now, now... No, it's not, not like that. Well, what we're reading in the tabloids over here in Denmark, Colin, is, uh, is that, is that there was something going on with Jared Leto. Indeed, they're writing that it's over, but they're also writing that you've gotten involved with Claudine who's your personal assistant. Is this true? Uh, yeah, I'm involved with Claudine. She's great. She assists me personally. Okay. And she, uh, d d I mean, when you're a personal assistant, I mean, what kind of things she do for you? Whatever I tell her. Okay. Like, what's she doing right now, for example? I can't say that. Okay. All right, Colin. Anything, uh, anything you need to, uh, anything you need to plug? Any films that we should keep our well, eye on? Well, I've just been working on, uh, on a new project. Uh, with, uh, with Elmo. With Elmo from Sesame yeah. Street? Yeah. Okay. Well, it's taken, it's taken me about three years to get this off the ground. It's been, I've been working on it. Excellent. Okay, yeah. so you're, I don't think I, I don't think I recall ever seeing you in any children program. What? I, so I don't, I don't, what are you talking about? Well, you say you're going to be doing something with Elmo. That's, that's Sesame Street, is it not? Yeah. Okay. And? Well, I mean, that's a children's children's television. What? Yeah, uh, Sesame Street, you know, with Grover. No, it's very serious. It's very serious material. Okay. Yeah, uh, we're investigating. It's like a crime. It's a crime slash thriller. Okay, with Elmo on Sesame Street? Yeah. Okay. 
All right. I, my agent told me it gets great reviews and it's important to, for an actor to do such a thing. So, okay. So I studied for a year and a half in uh, in Tibet. Okay. To so, prepare for this role. You're kidding me. It's a role in my lifetime. Uh, well, we look forward I'm very, to seeing I'm very that. proud of it. And working with Elmo was great. He taught me a lot about acting. Okay, he did. <laughs> yeah. Well, right, right on, Colin. Well, thanks for sharing with us. Um, yeah. uh, Dave, you got any anything you need to ask Colin while we got him here in the horn? Uh, no, no. Uh, any questions for Colin Farrell? Uh, when's he coming to the show in person, man? Yeah. Are you going to be coming by Copenhagen anytime soon, Colin? Um, that's in Germany, yeah? No, uh, right above Germany. Uh, no, I don't go to Germany. Okay. Okay, but you'd be more than welcome to come to Copenhagen. We'll put you up. If you ever got any filming or any anything you're doing that's around this area, make sure and come by and see us. No, not if it's German. I don't do that. No, 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 but it's not Germany. It's Denmark. Copenhagen, Denmark. Did you know Did you know that they, they, uh, they were the bad ones in World War Two? Not Denmark. Yeah, Germany. Yeah, yeah oh, I know, I know, but see, we're Denmark's not... in Germany, isn't it? We're not in Germany. No, Denmark is not in Germany. It's a, it's a country of its own. It's right above Germany. It's northern. Nor okay. It's almost Sweden. Eh? Uh, Colin, I got one last question for you. Uh, uh, you are supposed to do a guest cameo on the show, on the HBO series Entourage. And, yeah. and we haven't seen this episode yet, but I'm wondering, have you already filmed that? Um, I think so. Okay, not really sure. I don't really know when we're filming and when we're not. Okay. Most so, of the time. So, are you doing like a reality show where there's cameras with you all the time so you don't know if... That's what it feels like. Okay. I go into these trailers and then I come out and there's people pointing cameras at me and that's about it. And then I raise my eyebrows up and down. How, well, how do you deal with all that recognition? I mean, how do you deal with just being recognized everywhere you go? Well, I'm, I'm used to it. I'm Colin Farrell. Yeah. Indeed you are. Nice talking with you, Colin. We're going to let you go. This is uh, Mad Dog on behalf of Dave and Sammy and J.D. saying uh, thanks for talking to us. And uh, and uh, keep us keep us informed. Keep us updated on what you got going on, all right? Can I go now? Yeah, yeah, sure, Colin. Thanks for joining us. Now, we played some dog music here before on the show. There's, of course, the band that's called Caninus, where the it's a heavy metal band, but they have uh, pit bull dogs that are the singers in the band. <laughs> You remember that? Yeah, I remember. So this is the pop entry now. You know, now you can auto-tune the news, make a song out of it. Now you can even auto-tune your dog as well. But, Mad Dog, now how exactly does this uh, auto-tune work? Sing, Mishka. I love you. Basically, what it is is it's an effect that that follows the. You have to you have to write a map for the modulation of it. No, 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 no. You lost me already. Okay. How does it work? In in Dave terms, yeah, okay. man. I mean, like you sing into it and it comes out. Sing like into that. what? You sing into a microphone that has the auto tune thing on. Installed. It. Right. What? Oh, okay. I have it right here, Dave. You can I want I want you to try it so you okay. can see how it works. I'll give you an example. Um, but how does it know what note to go to? They see that's if you knew if I knew the answer to that then I wouldn't be sitting here right no, now. Okay, you yeah, know? you'd be a millionaire. You know, when I went to college, one of the guys that taught the electronics class he invented the vibrating motion of a of a mobile telephone. No, okay. he came up with that. So he has so much fu money, you wouldn't believe it. This yeah. guy, yeah, he just just did the uh, teaching in the school because it was his passion. Okay, okay, but this guy was enormously wealthy because of that. The vibrating. Yeah, it was him that come out come up with that technology to get okay, a phone to vibrate. Okay. But back to auto tune, you got a choice. You can sing the Star Spangled Banner, or you can sing California Love, or you can sing Less Groove Tonight. How about the, how about just take? No, wait, wait. So what? You, well, you so choose. you you can't just sing any song you want to sing. Well, not not in this case, not for this example, Dave. No, okay, okay. For this okay. example, you got to choose one of these three songs. Mm, okay, okay. What's it gonna be? Star Spangled Banner. Yeah, why not? All right, here we go. 
Now, what you do, you can sing or you can talk or you can use your uh, you can use your own voice. I think you get some lyrics too. That's very good, Dave. Yeah. You should just talk to me now through it, Dave. You don't have to sing. So, Dave, what did you order at the KFC? What did you have at KFC? You had the hot wings. Okay, three packs of ketchup. And now, and now, now you got butt coffee. <laughs> oh man, no more, no more chicken for days. <laughs>